Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Al, and today we have a haul. We have some things from Kix. I did a little bit of damage on H&M today. Um, nothing really that exciting, just a few things I did need. And then we have this big box from Beauty Bay. And um, heads up, most of this is eyeshadow related. So, um, yeah. Let's start off with the <laughs> H&M haul, uh, part of this haul. Um, I am almost out of a few serums, so I decided to pick up three. Um, so the first one is from a new brand I haven't heard of. And it's the Indeed Laboratories Glow Booster for dull and uneven skin tone. Looks like this. Um, out of the items that they had, this is just a sleek packaging. Really nice and just... Ooh, this is something you can mix with other serums, moisturizers, or foundations. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, out of the products I looked at, I didn't look at all of them. This one sounded the most interesting one. So it will be interesting to see how that one goes. Then, as you might know, I we have gotten Glow Hub in H&M here in Norway. And I am almost out of the serum that I'm currently using from them. So I picked up two others because their full serum range has come to H&M now. So the purple one is the, the Barrier Builder Facial Serum with Fatty Acids. Um, so that will be interesting. Let's see. I'm guessing the packaging is the same as the other, just, yeah, with a different color. So it's kind of matching the box, which is awesome. Then the second one I picked up is the Hydration Hero Facial Serum uh, with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, and this is like a chartreuse green, neon yellow kind of shade. So yeah, this these will be really fun to test out. Glow Hub is actually a really nice skincare brand. Um, the only item I have tried so far that I am not the biggest fan of is the cleansing balm, but that's fine. So those are the three items I picked up from H&M. Then from Kix, you have already seen this, these two up on my Instagram. We have the Sigma Untamed palette. I have been wanting to try Sigma for quite a while and they just came to Norway during the summer, I think. And this is just a gorgeous fall palette. I'm planning on doing a three looks one palette with this one. Um, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see that one. It might be in, we're now in September, October, I think it will come. Then we have the new Urban Decay Naked palette. It's the Cyber palette. Uh, this would have gone up today when I'm filming actually on my Instagram. It's just a really stunning packaging. Absolutely love it. And the colors are really nice. I still have not touched any of the shadows in here. So, yeah, 
I cannot wait to play around with this one, especially, and this one right here. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a palette bingo with this one. So if that's something you want to see, then let me know. Or if there's any other videos you want to see with these two, then leave a comment down below. Now, for the big ass box, we have, oh my god, um, First of all, I needed to buy some backups of my favorite beauty blenders or makeup sponges and it's the Revolution and Friends sponges. So I picked up two packs, um, so there's that. I absolutely love them, they are so good and it takes no time to blend out. Then I picked up the Revolution Super Matte Powder. This guy right here. I got the translucent shade. And the packaging. Oh, it's taped on the sides. There we go. I hope, yes. So it's just a nice, how much is in this? Six grams. That is a good amount, in my opinion, um, for powders. So that will be interesting to test out. Oh, I have one more thing that isn't eyeshadow related. And that is the Revolution Extra Hold Brow Glue. Uh, I like my brows to stay put all day long because they won't do that on their own. So I will be interested to see how this holds up. I have been loving the L'Oreal ones, um, but yeah, I really... I love testing out brow gels, so it will be interesting to see. I got that one in translucent, transparent, I don't know if it has a name, but it's the clear one. Um, yeah, just the clear one. Now, let's jump in the, into the eyeshadows. So I have, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five pre-made palettes and four singles with a compact to them. So let's start off with the pre-made ones. I decided to pick up the BH Cosmetics Passion in Paris palette. I have been wanting to try out their travel palettes for quite some while and this one was the one that um, I really just wanted to test out. Uh, the color story spoke to me the most at the moment and let's see if we can get the plastic out. This is just a really beautiful, cool toned, colorful palette, in my opinion. Because you have your blues, you have your purples, you have your reds, um, silvers, black. So, yeah, it's not the typical neutral, cool toned palette. So, I do think this one will be. Really nice with the Glam palette, for instance. 
and some of the other palettes I have brought in this time around. The second palette is the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette. I have been uh, dying to try Beauty Bay formula out and this one was the most fun palette. Um, I really do want the Wilderness palette as well, but they were sold out of that one when I did this order. So, yeah, I do think everybody knows what this one looks like. But, here we go. Just really beautiful with a ton of colors and a good amount of neutral tones so that one will be interesting let me know what type of videos you want with these palettes because I'm I can do them all so let me know oh my god there we go then I have been dying to try out these ones. These are the ABH Narina Pro Pigment palettes. I picked up volume 4. I really do want volume 5 as well, but they didn't have it on Beauty Bay. Uh, oh, that's the wrong side. So, yeah, I decided to pick this one up. And when they do have volume 5 in, I will definitely pick that one up as well. Uh, but this one is in the baby pink packaging. And ooh, there we go. This one is just stunning, in my opinion. You get some neons, you get a lot of color, you get one pressed pigment. Pressed pressed glitter oh my god uh, which I don't mind um, and you get a huge mirror on this one so yeah I absolutely love my pinks and purples and you get some neutrals and a pop of yellow so that will be a lot of fun let's see if we can get it back into its box then we have some cooler toned palettes and first up is this one right here it's the revolution forever flawless in timeless fantasy this is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam palette, um, just with a few extra shades. So it will be interesting to see how they compare. Then the second cool tone palette I bought was the Melt Mary Jane palette. Uh, I've had my eyes on this one as well for quite some time and Melt Cosmetics in general. Um, so I picked this one up and again it's just a nice cool toned palette. So yeah it will be... I have never tried Melt Cosmetics anything, so this will be interesting. We have a few new brands to my collection in this video, like Melt and Sigma and Beauty Bay, and not BH, I do have BH actually. Then we have the Sample Beauty. So I bought their 4 pan magnetic palette and this one has an amazing hold to their magnets. It's so damn strong that you can 
easily travel with it. Uh, so I picked up four shadows and I picked up the shade Wholemeal, which is a neutral brownie shade. Um, and they just pop right on in. Then I picked up the shade Cobweb, which is a neutral shimmer. Uh, and it looks a little bit something like this. Really just night. nice light shimmer. So we have a neutral matte and a neutral shimmer. Then I picked up the shade Rom Romaine. I almost said romance, but romaine. And that is a green matte because you all know I love my greens. Uh, so here we go. And the last eyeshadow I picked up is the shade Night Shift. And that is a shimmer green shade and it looks like that really pretty so we have some neutrals and some greens and yeah that is the first four I'm really hoping they come out with some more um, singles uh, because they don't have too, too many shades. So, yeah, that is the quad. Then I had some Tribe Perk points. And I... It's really fun that it comes in this type of packaging. Um... But I picked up a eyeshadow palette as well. And it is a huge eyeshadow palette. And it's the, let's see here if we can get it out of the plastic. There we ooh, go. What is this? This is actually a, um, I can give away 18% um, to a friend, which is awesome. So let's see. I picked up the Evolve palette. It's one of their 42 color palettes. Uh, it's really huge and it's a neutral palette and um, it's huge there we go it looks like this it's quite big um, so yeah here we go that is the 42 pan palette so the first row is bases, you have transitions, you have crease, liner, pop, and highlighter. So you have a little bit of everything in every single color um, in the brown family. So yeah, I cannot wait to test out the Beauty Bay formula and the packaging is just so nice. 
so yeah that is everything i have so much new eyeshadows and um like i didn't have enough eyeshadows before but i love eyeshadows i i like to play around even though i'm wearing a cool toned gold and blue look today so yeah let me know what kind of videos you want to see with these palettes i'm already planning for the sigma three looks one palette and um yeah that is always that is already on my planner but if you want to see any of the others in any videos let me know i can do a get ready with me i can do a first impressions um comparisons videos let me know i have some free space in october so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope i will see you again in my next video bye